And with the shifting of the governorship and House of Assembly elections, the Benue State Police Command, in collaboration with all the security outfits in the state, has promised to provide adequate security to ensure a hitch free poll come a 10th of March. The police commissioner, uh, Wale Abbas, gave the assurance during a joint security meeting with other security sister agencies in the state. Uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission and the key political players held at the State Police Command headquarters in Makodi, the state capital. A correspondent, Francis Ter, reports that the security meeting was to review security situation in the last presidential and national assembly elections and also improve on the forthcoming gubernatorial and House of Assembly polls. You have to go back to your constituents and talk to your followers. This will excuse violence. You should not allow violence. Violence will not use anything to any one of us. And you see, don't forget, this is the state, your own state. This is the state we are living. If there is any problem in this state, it is going to be, it's going to affect everybody. And any problem, anybody thinks you can just make up and feel nothing will happen. Something will happen because you don't know who will be caught in the web. It is the beginning of problem everybody knows. Nobody knows where the thing is going to end. And that's the more reason why we want you people to go, let us discuss, and promise too that on our part, we are go on the part of the security agencies, we are going to embrace, and like we have done, and we are going to improve on the one we did, embrace adequate security that will secure everybody coming out to force without being molested, without being harassed, without being abused. There is nothing anybody can do. The only thing we can do is to go out, like I said, confess for people's schools, talk to people, convince people on what. INEC Resident Electoral Commissioner in the state, uh, Professor Samuel Ego, assured that the commission will strictly follow the electoral guidelines and advised politicians to cooperate with the commission to deliver a free, fair and credible election. Uh, a participant, Eric Adoko, is also the All Progressive Congress candidate, appreciated the manner in which security agents were deployed across the state in the last elections and urged them to do more in the coming elections. In, um, in all situations, we have a practice of uh, reviewing the previous election to see what worked well and what did not work well. And we use that reflection to map out a strategy of addressing the gaps that we noticed in that election. So it's logical that going forward to the next election, we need to call all the members of ICSES and then we can collectively reflect on the last election and define how we can make progress, correcting all the loopholes that we identified. Okay. The level of desperation that people are going to bring into the next election. And my charge is simply that let us conduct ourselves in ways that will not bring tragedy and sadness to many people. Because we have to, first of all, make the election peaceful, you know, before we can even live to enjoy the benefits of power. Um, it was quite refreshing, and I think we got a lot from um, the, the authority. For the umpteenth time, we have been assured that the election is going to be free and fair. We appreciate the fact that they brought us together here this afternoon because um, they discussed a number of things, including security. And um, they have been able to allay our fear to an extent because um, with um, the way things are going, people saying so many things on the streets, it is good that we have been reassured that everyone will be secured and every vote will come. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.